The Goldfinch, written by American novelist Donna Tartt, was published in 2013. Among other awards, it received the 2014 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. The narrative of The Goldfinch is told through Theodore Theo Decker's perspective. The book is a remembrance of his life following the loss of his mother and is also a narrative about the protagonist coming of age. The narrative leaps back in time from when he was 22 to the day when his mother passed away 10 years earlier. They wake up that morning and make a mad dash from their cramped apartment in Manhattan all the way to his school for a meeting with his principal. Theo was given a suspension, much to the displeasure of Theo's mother. They were going to take a taxi, but his mother has motion sickness in cars, so they decided to walk to his school instead. On the way, it begins to rain, so they hurry inside the Met to visit the Dutch Golden Age exhibit. Theo's mother shows him the goldfinch by Carol Fabricius, a painting that she adores, but he is more interested in a girl he sees across the gallery. His mother makes the decision to go downstairs in order for them to be on time for the meeting, but Theo wants to remain where he is so that he can keep staring at the girl. The gallery takes a direct hit from the bomb, and Theo is left in a cloud of shrapnel and multiple corpses. As he searches the gallery for his mother, he sprints through the building and ends up running towards a dying man who was strolling with the girl. The guy hands him a ring and directs him to Hobart and Blackwell, as well as insisting that Theo depart with the goldfinch. Theo quickly snatches the picture and makes his way back home so that he may talk to his mother. After her disappearance, he finds that his mother has passed away and that he must find a new place to call home. Theo is taken in by the Barbers, a rich social family, when his father abandons him and his grandparents abuse him. Even though he is still in disbelief over the death of his mother, he is content with his life with the Barbers. He spends the majority of his time trying to divert his attention from his feelings. When he gets back to school, he discovers that some of his classmates are at a loss for how to interact with him in the wake of his mother's passing. He is utterly ignored by Tom Cable, a former buddy who was responsible for him being suspended. Theo decides to return the ring to Hobart and Blackwell, an antique store, and while there, he runs into Pippa, the girl he met earlier at the art museum. He finds out that the person who was lying there dying is her uncle Welty, and he also meets uncle Welty's partner in business, Hobie. He comes to the shop often until Pippa and her aunt move to Texas. Theo's father makes an unannounced appearance and whisks his son away to Las Vegas, where he lives with his father and his girlfriend Zandra. Theo starts a new life in Las Vegas while still concealing the artwork in his new apartment. He becomes friends with Boris, whose mother had passed away and whose father was an aggressive drinker like his own. They start spending almost all of their time together and quickly develop a strong friendship. Theo's father urges him to withdraw funds from a college savings account that his mother set up for him, but Theo's attorney opposes. Theo's dad owes money to a gangster named Narman Silva, and Silva has paid many visits to their home, where he has made threats to harm Theo's father. Following his relapse into alcoholism, Larry makes an attempt to flee his debt responsibilities by driving away, but he is involved in a deadly vehicle accident instead. Theo realizes that he may be placed against his will in a nursing facility, so he decides to return to New York. Boris urges Theo to stay, but he ultimately decides to go and start a new life with Hobie while also enrolling in an early college program. After another eight years, Theo eventually became a partner at the antique business and conceals the artwork in one of the shop's storage containers. After having an encounter with Platt, Theo meets up with the Barber family again and learns that Andy and Mr. Barber perished in a sailing accident. Even though he is still in love with Pippa, he begins to visit the Barbers and ultimately makes a proposal to Kitsi, Andy's sister. 
He raises money for the store by selling phony antiquities, and after a botched transaction, Lucius Reeve blackmails him into selling the goldfinch. He develops an addiction to prescription drugs and continues to use despite repeated efforts to stop. He bumps into Boris while attempting to pick up some drugs. Boris admits that he took the artwork, swapping it during their time in Vegas, and used it as security for drug transactions. One of these drug transactions results in the death of a housekeeper, and the picture becomes lost as a result. Boris is adamant that he will track down the picture, and Theo agrees to assist him in his search. He meets Horst, an art dealer who knows where the picture is, and arranges a robbery with Boris. Theo bumps into Kitsi and Tom Cable after leaving his appointment with Boris, and discovers Kitsi is having an affair. Theo talks to her about it, and she insists that they should still be together. Theo is becoming more anxious as Lucius continues to send letters about the picture. Hobie informs him at his engagement party that Lucius Reeve was formerly Lucian Race and that Welty imprisoned him for stealing and selling the antiquities of defenseless old people. Boris is adamant that they get on a plane to Amsterdam as soon as possible in order to rescue the picture, so Theo rushes out of his own engagement party. Before leaving for the airport, he gives Pippa a very pricey necklace and a note in which he expresses his love for her. They are successful in reclaiming the picture in Amsterdam, but all the while, they are being followed by Martin, a close friend of Horst's who has been hired to murder them. The subsequent gunfight results in Theo shooting and killing Martin, while Boris is injured. They go their own ways, and Theo winds up spending several frantic days in Amsterdam by himself. Boris will ultimately come back after reporting the thefts to the authorities. In exchange for his assistance in locating the goldfinch and a number of other artworks, the authorities offer him a reward, which he agrees to share with Theo, who then heads back to New York. Hobie finds out what Theo has been hiding and he demands that Theo purchase back all of the false antiquities he has been selling. Theo sets out on a journey that will last for a whole year in order to buy back all of the bogus antiques he has previously sold. Pippa gives him back the necklace, but she also tells him that she loves him, despite the fact that they are unable to be together due to the fact that their shared experiences can only drag each other down. Theo takes some time to think back on his life and comes to the conclusion that despite its difficulties, living is worthwhile due to the many beautiful and joyful moments it provides, as well as the enduring art that these experiences inspire. If you have any suggestion of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.